welcome back. In the previous step, we created and executed the find all method. We were able to print all the details of a person. We saw how easy it is to write a simple method with Spring JDBC. This JDBC template is something which is implemented in Spring JDBC. You can see that it's part of Org Spring Framework JDBC core. How did we do this kind of stuff in JDBC? It was very, very complex. In this step, let's compare JDBC with Spring JDBC and understand how Spring JDBC makes it very easy. So, what you're looking at on your screen right now is a simple JDBC example for doing a similar exercise. Instead of the retrieve persons, here it is retrieve to do's. So, this one is using JDBC. In JDBC, what we needed to do was first we needed to get a connection, then we needed to create a prepared statement, you need to execute the query, and then we needed to get the values individually out of the result set and add it to the list, close everything out, and return the to-dos. One of the problems which is not handled very well in this piece of code is exception handling. Because if, let's say, some piece of code here fires an exception, then the statement and the connection will not get closed and there will be leak of a connection. So you will lose a connection. And that's not really good. So if I really implement that well, then this code becomes even more complex. This is how typically things are done in JDBC. And Spring JDBC provides an easier option than that. Let's consider the advantages of Spring JDBC. One is less amount of code. Instead of writing 100 lines, you'd be writing five or 10 lines of code. So that's number one. Number two, it also prevents you from making mistakes because what we will do there is we don't really need to handle the connection statement and things like that. And even if there is an exception happening, the JDBC template makes sure that the connection is closed. So the number of chances that you make a mistake are reduced when you use Spring JDBC. So those are the two main advantages with respect to Spring JDBC. In this step, we took a quick look at JDBC, some example JDBC code, and compared it with how things are done with Spring JDBC. Until the next step, bye-bye.